Hello, this is Derek Wilson with CDO Advisors. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can do text mining using the FAA incident data set for a specific plane and type of area part in this case, uh, and then take that data, write it out to a CSV file, and then using Power BI, pull that back in to look at all of the information together. So in this case, I've built out a rapid miner process that'll do text mining. I've got an Excel file here that contains all of my FAA data logs. So I'm gonna run that and I'll show you the output so we can see what type of information is in the information that's available from the FAA. So you can see you've got the date, you've got an incident date, the part. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna show you how to filter this just for the part of skin of the plane. Uh, we're going to look at a specific plane type and all the way over here is a very long description that people can put notes in when they're taking care of the plane and fixing it. So you can see here, here's a broken nose gear, nose landing gear red, you know, intra-transit light did not illuminate. That's the description. So what we want to find is what is the text? What are the nouns that are common to all these things? If I go back to my design, I'm gonna look at my filter example. And here I, you can see I filtered the plane. I'm only gonna look at Boeing 737s. And I'm only looking at the part equals to the word skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this. It'll take it over. My process document's going through. And at the end of it, now I have the nouns and the word pairs that are only for my text mining of the 737 part equals to skin. So I've taken this, as you can see here, I've output it to a CSV file. And now in Power BI, I've wired that up to be, here's my same data set. I also have the full data set so I can get an overview of what's out there. So through Power BI, I've just created a very simple interface. You can see I've got data for 1990, 91, 92, 93, 94 by year i can drill down into quarters i can you know, expand it out and look at individual quarters so lots of great things i can do once i've got the data formatted into power bi uh, as you can see here i filtered down to my 737 so here's my incident log i've got different parts skin had the most parts that's why i chose that one and then on my text mining output i've now brought it over and very quickly, my end users in this case, if they were gonna try to figure out what's going on, what are the common occurrences of parts for skin, the, the incidents, the, you know, what are the, the common repairs and things that need to happen? Well, you can see check visual, that might be a check visualization light, uh, somebody installed something, but then it gets interesting down here, you've got inch crack. All right, well, now I could go back into my my notes and I could do a search for every place that my description equals inch crack. And I could see all of the incidents and planes and filter those out and again, dig into the details of what was going on with those. Uh, some maintenance repairs, um, inch, inch showed up a few times, dent, right? There's an interesting one. So you've got dents on the skin of the plane, skin crack. So all of these things I could just as easily, now that I've taken all of those incidents that I had, over time, I can now quickly see what are the common words that are in the text of that description field to make it more valuable to my team that's trying to figure out what's causing dents, what's causing skin cracks. Well, you know, why am I getting, um, you know, these fuselage skin repairs? Like, what's causing all of these issues? And I can quickly visualize that in Power BI to see, you know, kind of what's going on. Here's my incidents over time. My Boeing should be the 737, right? There's my parts over time. So you can see I had this big uptick. Again, I can drill through it different ways and see my data set. And I could go all the way down to days if I want. That's too granular. So you can see I was pretty, pretty steady here for a while. Got a constant line. 
I could put in there if I knew my average. Do it this way. Now I can change it. I made it into a line graph. I've got the count and I want to add the average. Just make this the average incidents. Add that. And now I can quickly see kind of where my average is and then what was going on here. And right? I had 105 in 1992. Um, right? So again, an easy way to, to kind of visualize all that data, get the text mining output, see what's going on, and then go back into your data set to understand how to use this to make your business better. So that is a quick overview of how to use Rapid Miner to get the text mining and then put Power BI on top of it to help understand what's going on in your data. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.